So it looks like this year Abu Garcia Japan finally updated their popular line of reels called the Roxani. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this short promotional video that they came out with while I explain to anyone who's never heard of the Roxani what this real lineup is. So the Roxani lineup is a lineup of I think three bait casters and one spinning reel that came out in Japan for Abu Garcia way back in 2018. And this lineup of reels slotted in between the more expensive Revo lineup and the budget low-end Max lineup. And the standout reel in this lineup was their bait finesse model which they called the BF8. And what stood out about this reel was that for the longest time, and actually it probably still is, the Roxani BF8 was by far the cheapest JDM bait finesse reel you could get. I think at one point it sold for well under $150 and I was actually very close to buying one several times. But yeah, that was a really short promo video. Let us find out more about this new Roxani lineup. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the old lineup. And for that, we're over here at Pure Fishing Japan's website in the Abu Garcia section. And we're going to go over here to the Baitcaster Reels. And you can see they have them in order, I guess, of most expensive to the cheapest. And now in 2024, the Roxani is right in the middle, just like it was when it debuted in 2018. So the pictures I'm going to show you are going to be the previous generation Roxani. You can see there were three baitcaster models, a power shooter, I guess, big line capacity power model, a Roxani 7 and 8, which I guess is the general purpose bait casters, and then you got your BF8. And let me show you the pictures of this reel. So a lot of you may recognize this, I guess, frame as being the same frame on the, what, the Zeta reels or the long discontinued Revo EXD, but the Roxani lineup was characterized by its extreme value and having an aluminum frame for such a low cost. So once again, this is the old reel. You can see very basic black and silver color. And now let's check out the new reel. All right, here we go. So. I guess they're starting out with just two models, the general purpose bait caster, and then of course a bait finesse model, which looks to be the BF7. Now the seven stands for the gear ratio. So I guess this is only gonna be offered in a seven speed gear ratio. But you can definitely see that these reels are sporting the asymmetrical frame shape that the Revos have now really tell in this picture right here and they're also staying pretty much all black and before we go down this article to show you guys what's changed about the new Roxani series and its features I'm gonna let you guys know that this new Roxani series took a step backwards by using carbon fiber frames instead of aluminum now so they are no longer aluminum frames, they are carbon. But you'll see that they did add a lot of upgrades to the new reel and let's check them out right now. 
So it says coming in March 2024, introducing a new product that is easier to grip and even lighter, the Bait Finesse model, Roxani BCBF7, that can be wound eight pounds for 50 meters. Then the versatile model, line capacity is 12 pounds for 100 meters. And here are the specs. And it says, this is where the Roxani has evolved. Now it says, achieved an average weight reduction of 9% compared to the previous model. Blah, blah, blah. The weight is now 172 grams, which is, I think, right around 6 ounces. Now the old model, I think, weighed in at... Let's see if they gave us the weight. 185 grams. Right here. So 172 versus 185. And it says the lighter weight increases sensitivity and reduces fatigue, making it easier to handle. And it says adopts ergonomic design. The asymmetrical body with an ergonomic design make it easy to palm. Grip deeply during fighting and prevent force dispersion to achieve powerful and stable winding. So, I mean, I wouldn't say it's ugly, but something about asymmetrical designs kind of just puts me off. But that's just me. But here's the Humbait Finesse model. And another upgrade is they increase the number of bearings. Now, while the previous model had four plus one bearings, this model has an increased number of bearings to seven plus one. Okay, and here's another upgrade. Added drag click sound and increased drag force. Added drag click sound. You can now hear when the drag is coming out. I'm sure it's not just reporters who find fights so much more fun just by the drag sound. So the old reel apparently didn't have a clicking drag but the new one will, and that should appeal to a lot of you guys. And it says, in addition, the maximum drag force has been significantly increased. And while the previous model Roxani was 5.5 kilos, this time it has been increased to a max nine kilos. So I'm sure that's great for the all purpose model, but for the bait finesse model, that's a bit overkill. But you can see some of the design details here see the trim piece now another upgrade is the length of the handle the handle length has also been changed from 80 millimeters to 90 furthermore a thin TPE handle knob is also adopted to achieve more powerful winding so 90 millimeters for a bait finesse reel that's fine but these knobs are coming straight from the high-end Xenon series. They're flat, pretty comfortable, not super, super soft, but they are definitely an upgrade over the previous knobs. It says Roxani B CBF7 HS8 has also been improved in various parts and has higher performance. So yeah, so they took one step back in changing the frame to carbon instead of aluminum, but looks like they took a few steps forward by adding the drag clicker, adding more bearings, making it lighter, I guess more comfortable to palm, and the upgraded handle and knobs. So how much is this really going to cost? Like I said, the Roxani lineup is very popular in Japan because it's very affordable. And the BF8 was and still is the cheapest JDM bait finesse reel you can get. So how much are these new models going to cost? So here's a shop that is offering pre-orders for the new Roxanis. And let's check out these pictures. It's another picture of the reel. Grease. 
here it gives us more specs 172 grams 7.3 to 1 gear ratio 9 kilos of drag line capacity of I guess mono and braid bearings spool size 33 millimeters by 22 so the old reel had a 33 millimeter spool which at the time was pretty much average the average BFS spool was 32 millimeters so slightly above average but by today's standards in 2024 33 millimeters is huge now the old spool also was very heavy even by 2018 standards and I did watch a couple of uh, YouTubers weigh their spools and I think they came in at like 13 and a half grams. So definitely not something that you're going to be throwing the trout magnet with. But this is definitely going to be attractive for those of you who are wanting a bait finesse reel. But you don't want to buy one of these super tiny spooled ultralight finesse casters that are dominating the market right now. So... Yep, right here it shows you the frame is going to be made of C6 carbon. Magtrax brakes, not surprising. Multi stack drag. Dewar gear, blah, blah, blah. 90 millimeter handle. More picks. So it's basically just a, I wouldn't call it no frills, but the reel doesn't really attract attention. It's definitely going to fly under the radar, which a lot of you guys like. But what is the price? Now, this shop here, I believe, ships only in Japan. So the price is just for Japanese anglers. And they're saying 17,710 yen at the time of this video. Now, if you do a yen to dollar conversion, this reel is being sold for $118. Now, if you want to import the reel, does that mean it's going to cost $118? Probably not. You're probably going to be looking at at least $140 to $150, but still, but still, in the grand scheme of things, the Roxani is still going to hold the title of being the cheapest JDM Bay Finesse reel. For those of you who refuse to buy the AliExpress Chinese reels, but you're on an extreme limited budget. So once again, these are scheduled to be released in March, which is only a couple of days away. And I expect them to show up on the major JDM sites like Digitaka, maybe Asian Portal and whatnot, probably in the middle of the month. So if you're interested in one of these, you may wanna keep checking those sites to see when they become available. So there we go, guys. Abu Garcia Japan has finally updated their very popular Roxani lineup. Thanks a lot.